Christmas is the most thrilling season of the year. As we look back over the years, memories of many Christmases flood our minds. Christmas cards that we read and be read, and the moment we spend with our family and friends each year as we gather to celebrate the Christmas message. A message of hope and joy and love. It's a day when our minds go back to that lowly manger in Bethlehem and we hear beyond the noises of a materialistic world, the soft flutter of angels' wings. We see the tenderness of a mother with a firstborn son. Let us listen to that eternal tale yet again. An angel appears to Mary in the village of Nazareth in Galilee, the angel Gabriel appeared to a young woman called Mary. Mary was promised in marriage to Joseph, who descended from the family of David. The Lord be with you, said Gabriel. You are the most fortunate of women. Mary was troubled by the angel's greeting and wondered why he had come to see her. Do not be afraid, Mary, Gabriel reassured her. God has chosen you to be the mother of a child, a son who shall be called Jesus. He will be great and his kingdom will never end. But how is this possible? Mary asked. I am still a girl and not yet married. The Holy Spirit will come to you and God's grace will be with you. For your child will be known as the Son of God. At these words, Mary knelt before Gabriel and with head bowed replied, I am obedient to God's will and shall be prepared for whatever you wish me to do. She looked up, but the angel had gone. The birth of Jesus. Joseph was an honorable man and when he saw that Mary was expecting a child, his first thought was to protect her from scandal and quietly release her from her betrothal. But an angel came to him and said, Do not be afraid to take Mary for your wife. She has conceived this child by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son whose name shall be Jesus. Soon after, Joseph and Mary were married. The Emperor Augustus passed a law that a can be made of every person in the empire, so everyone returned to their hometown to be registered. Joseph went with Mary, who was soon to give birth, to Bethlehem in Judea. When at last they arrived, they found the city full of people. The streets were crowded and every inn and lodging already full. Joseph, anxious because he knew that the time of the baby's birth was near, searched and searched, but could find nowhere to stay. Eventually, worn out by their journey, they found some shelter and here. During the night, Mary's son was born. She wrapped him in strips of linen, as was the custom, and laid him in a manger. There was nowhere else for the baby to sleep. What a wonderful moment! Imagine the scene in Bethlehem. It was the night of nights, and yet it had begun as every other night had before it. Toward the west was the Mediterranean Sea, and the sun was beginning to sink until across the western sky was a great bar of gold. As the sky turned grey, and after that the night, one could look to the east and make out the mountains of Moab rising out of the shadows like colossal giants. In Bethlehem's houses, mothers lay their children down to sleep. In the courtyards of the inn, some camels lay to rest. Here and there in houses, lambs gleamed for a moment, then went out. In the fields, the sheep lay down while the shepherds sat near their fires. In the heavens above appeared the same stars that have shined throughout all the ages ever since God had made the stars to rule by night. Yes, it was night, but it was to become the greatest, most significant night of history. This was the night that would conquer darkness and bring in the day when there would be night no more. This was the night when they who sat in darkness would see a great light. This was the night that God brought into the world 
the one who is the light of the world. What a moment, what an hour. The shepherds visit. In the fields near Bethlehem, there were shepherds tending their flocks. Suddenly, a brilliant light blazed through the darkness and an angel appeared. The shepherds, terrified, hid their eyes, but the angel reassured them. I bring you good news. Today, in Bethlehem, a child has been born who will be the savior of the people. You will find him in a manger. Then the night sky was filled with heavenly beings and the angels sang in praise of God. They spoke of peace on earth and friendship between everyone. We must go at once to see the child, the shepherds said. They hurried to the town where they soon found Mary, Joseph and the baby. Excitedly, they described what they had seen and heard and went away praising God. Only Mary was silent, thinking quietly to herself. A prayer for this Christmas season. Written by Robert Louis Stevenson and recited by Pranit Rajke of Class 4. God, a loving Father, help us remember the birth of Jesus, that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, and the wisdom of the wise men. Close the door of hate and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings and teach us to be merry with clean hearts. May the Christmas morning make us happy to be your children and the Christmas evening bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts. Forgiving and forgiven for Jesus' sake. Amen. Christmas means something far deeper than human goodwill. It is the loving remembrance of the birth of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Over 2,000 years ago, on a night, the world has come to call Christmas. Christmas is the day we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amid the glitter and busyness of the season, may you not lose the sight of the miracle and the meaning of that Christmas night. Oh come all ye faithful, up next. This song will be sung by Joseph and Dennis of Class 3 and Sejal Sujit of Class 6.
night, holy night. This song, synonymous to Christmas. Here, sung by Jemima Sutton from class one. Amrin Fazal of class 3 in here with a peppy Christmas number. You better watch out. <laughs> 